Hey guys, welcome back to Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse, and in this episode we're going to be resuming our DLC quests after a very unlucky run-in with a specific Egyptian goddess. Today we're going to do something a little bit easier for once. We're going to escape the doom and gloom of Tokyo and go on a vacation. Greetings, Lord Nanashi. I apologize for the unsolicited letter. I write to you to an extended invitation to my island. Please accept this quest and come discover the moment so enjoyable you'll lose all sense of time. Heck yeah, dude, count me in. Don't know why the difficulty of this quest is so high, but yeah, also, um, I didn't, I'm not going to use Christian in this battle because that's really dumb. Also, hello there. So, you've accepted my quest. Then allow me to show you the hospitality your heart desires. <laughs> Stay. Thou art so beautiful. This shall be the phrase that signals the end. Utter this, and I shall receive payment. Now, if you don't mind, you let's form a contract. All right, why not? It's my second contract this play with you, right? What's the harm in another? Excellent. I am Mephisto. I shall show you a world unlike anything you've ever seen. The place shall be. Let's see. Do you know of the island Hawaii? Blue sea, white sands. This place was once a paradise, before the world burned. But I suppose it doesn't matter whether you've heard of it. Let's be off. Look now. Watch as the world beyond Tokyo you've never known unfolds. Alright. Count me in and... Nice tights, bro. Uh, yeah. His name kind of rings a bell, though. I don't remember leader. from where. And Hey, wake up, leader! Alright. No way. What the- <laughs> actually put this in the game. God dang it, Atlas. Alright, so we're actually here. You see blue sea and white sands before you. This must be Hawaii. The place Mephesto was talking about. <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Look at his face, dude. He's just... <laughs> I don't like these short. Like, he's so sad. You think you'd be happy? Anyways, when you sit up and examine yourself, you find that you're wearing swimming trunks for some reason. Well, you're not wearing them for some reason. You're wearing them so you can go swimming, you idiot. And seeing you wake up, Hollywood tosses you a bottle of water. Finally. The sun's so bright here in Hawaii. We need to stay hydrated. That's what Gaston said, anyway. He's been surprisingly thoughtful. Wait. Hey. Gaston thoughtful? What do you mean, surprisingly? I went out of my way to get that water. You should be all thanking me. Come on, dude. You know, I was just about. Uh, whatever. Never mind. Thanks, Gaston. <laughs> Always being the uh, taking the high road, Halloween. That was nothing. <laughs> Gaston's embarrassed. Oh, hello there, Navarre. Nice, speedo, a young man. You don't recognize <laughs> approaches you. His demeanor friendly. Huh? Do you guys know who this is? <sighs> it's my brother. Oh, this is Navarre? <laughs> you still got the pompadour. <laughs> this is weird. You've dealt with the ghost, but you find this strange? Hey. Nanashi! Behind you, Navarre, you spot Asahi running towards you, her black hair swaying. What? Th 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 that's... A girl. <laughs> well, that's more distracting than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I can handle this. I can handle this. Your eyes twitching, Gaston. <laughs> Shut up. You can't see behind the goggles anyways. Asahi eyes you. Nanashi, how's my swimsuit look? It's not too much, is it? Not bad, I'd say. It's perfect. Like the sun cresting a mountain on a warm summer morning. Okay, then. Asahi ducks behind you. Hey, Nanashi, can you know that guy? What? It's Navarre! Uh-huh, okay, and as Navarre stomps his feet in frustration, two more of your friends show up behind him. Why is everyone behind Navarre and... Hmm? Give it up, Toki. No need to be embarrassed. <laughs> but... As Ome and Toki stride up their styles polar opposites, yeah, no kidding, and... I don't think I can handle this. Excellent. Is that what a grown woman is supposed to look like? Oh, <laughs> you know, chill out there, man. And he 
guys are enjoying this way too much. Come on, Toki, stop hiding behind me. I'm embarrassed. I don't have a good body for this. Oh, please, that's not important. So don't worry about it. Aw, this only would make a good mom, and it's easy for you to say. You're all curves. All right, and Toki remains behind this old man. Aw, uh, come on. This is w are we playing the same game? This is strange, man. I don't know. <laughs> ah! And I may squeal and there. Can't stay embarrassed now that everyone's seen you. I guess that's kind of true and oh gosh. Toki twists around as she's shoved forward, trying to hide her body. How was that, master? How do I look? Uh like a middle schooler? I don't know. Uh Navar and Gaston collapse at the sight of Toki in her swimsuit! It came out of nowhere! What the heck is up with you two? <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> Gaston, your nose is bleeding. What? Shut up! <laughs> so, which suit do you like best? Uh... Nozomi walks towards you, grinning. Uh... Asahi's got so much energy. Me? Well, I don't need to say anything about myself. Why am I- What is going on? And isn't Toki cute? I should have brought my camera. Um... So... Who's your type? Uh... Well, you guys know me. I'd probably pick this option, but... I got a feeling a lot of you are gonna be upset if we don't see what happens when we pick this, so... Here we go, and... Aw, thanks. But flattery will get you nowhere. What? Let's go for a swim. It's a beautiful day. Give it my all. Let's see if you can beat me in a. What the? Well, it turns out not a lot actually happened. How about that? We'll show what happens at the end when you pick the other options. Here I go. <laughs> she used her battle quote. Oh, that's cold. I'll get you back. <laughs> Asahi, how dare you? All right. What the dump is going on? And. Whoop! That kind of noise is that when Asahi splashes hits Toki right in the face. Whoops! Uh, sorry, Toki. This is getting interesting. This will be avenged. Oh. What? Hey, wait! What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Toki leaps at Asahi. <laughs> you settle down on the sand and watch your friends have fun. Where's Dot? Oh. How are you finding things? Are you enjoying yourself? Hmm, yeah, it's pretty fun, I can't even lie. I'm glad that you're having fun. By all means, enjoy to your heart's content. <laughs> uh, thanks, bro, but where the heck is Dagda? I wonder what type of swim trunks he would wear. Anyways, Mephesto vanishes like smoke in the air. Alright. Why are there no other people on this beach? Can't be the only one that finds that odd, but you hear the sound of your friends' voices around you. You seem to be blindfolded. And able to see holding what feels like a pole or a stick of some sort. No, to the right, to the right! <laughs> Good, now charge! Too far, Nanashi. This is pathetic. I'll knock it down myself. What? Are we playing pinata? I think you're missing the point. Yay, a little more to the left. Let's go, Master. There. Swing it straight down. Alright. I trust you guys. You bring down the weapon and connect with something hard. A water. Oh, I should have seen that coming, but when you pull the blindfold away, you split open a watermelon. Nice. I knew you could do it, Nanashi. All right. Just made everyone's day by breaking a watermelon. What the crud? How are you finding things? Oh, are you enjoying yourself? Well, I haven't had the watermelon yet, but uh, yeah, that was pretty fun, I guess. I'm glad that you're having fun. By all means, enjoy to your heart's content. <laughs> Alrighty. He's gone again. Am I supposed to not be enjoying myself? What's going on here, Mephesto? What the crud, and I guess on to the next beach activity. Hey. Grab it, Nanashi. Uh, what? Oh, a beach ball lands by your feet, just as Asahi calls to you. All right. Slide across the, all right, let's pick that, I guess. You snatch up the ball and keep it in play. We're playing volleyball? <laughs> oh man, something serious. There's only dashes toward the ball. Block this! 
<laughs> the fact that you said battle quotes is that oh that's so funny. And somebody says the ball hurling towards the opponents. We're all a pretty good team. Keep it up. Wait, are, am I against the other boys? I don't understand. There's an even number of people. So I was a peace sign. Okay, Nozome, we get it. How are you finding things? Are you enjoying yourself? I was before you came here. Stop asking me. Yes, I'm having fun. I'm glad you're having fun. By all means, enjoy to your heart's content. <laughs> God dang, that guy's so annoying. Isn't he hot in those tights? I don't... Anyways. On to... Our next activity, I guess. I hope it's more interesting than just playing volleyball. <laughs> what the heck? You walk side by side with your friends along the beach. As you do, you find a small creature with pincers for hands. Wow. It's a crab. Hard to get the meat out, but here it's pretty tasty. <gasps> you people eat this? Come on, Tokyo. Not bad. I've never seen a live crab. Hey. I guess they just eat the, like... Actually, how do we get new animals in Tokyo anyway? Found something weird over here. It's it's a mutated crab. No, it's like dirt's packed and points something dark green and squishy. Maybe it is. No, mm -hmm. oh, it's just a. The heck is that again? Strange creature. Yeah, no kidding. Sort of looks like you. Oh. What? <laughs> how? It is kind of gross. <laughs> Are you talking about me? No. I'm t I'm talking about, you know, the green floating guy. Not you, man. You're cool. Not exactly. But that's the same. Uh, whatever. What are you talking about? It's not gross. It's squishy and cute. Nothing like Navar. <laughs> are you talking about me? Cute. That's not a word I've used to describe you ever. Human or ghost. Oh my gosh. All right. Now I'm insulted. I saw he plays with a wriggly tube-shaped sea creature poking at it. Oh, what the heck? As she does, something suddenly bursts out of it. What the heck? Get away from me! Oh my gosh, they don't even know what it is. Think about if they lived in Tokyo their whole life, they would be totally freaked out. So he casts the creature aside, starts chasing after Hallelujah. The dark green creature is shrunk after exploding. As only picks it up. Pretty good. It's a sea cucumber. I think it's some guts or what got on Asahi. Ugh! It's kind of gross. Guts? So it's dead? Mm. No, it's a defense mechanism. Some sea cucumbers barf up their insides to protect themselves. But it grows back. Gross. <laughs> For sure. But I hear they're pretty tasty, too. <gasps> you people in Tokyo. You eat anything, won't you? <laughs> Somebody get this icky stuff off of me! What? <laughs> She's coming this way! You friends run around and clearly having fun. Uh, they can even make a cucumber interesting and... <sighs> you know, you're really cramping our style, bro. Yes, I'm having fun. I'm glad that you're having fun. By all means, enjoy to your heart's content. <laughs> okay, then. Toodaloo, Mephisto. God dang, he's annoying. Seriously, like, just chill out. Wait, another one? How long does this go on for? That's cold, I'll get... We're just doing the same things again? Okay, something's weird. They're just repeating the same thing over and over again. This is getting interesting. Yeah, and then she jumps on a side. This is really strange. I understand they can only have so much in a video game, but... No, I'm not having fun, Mephesto. What the crud? Well, that's not good. Allow me to change things, then. I am bound by our contract to provide you with moments so memorable you lose all sense of time. Uh-huh. Okay, it seems Mephesto wants you to speak the agreed-upon phrase. What? I'll see you later, then. Wait, so I have to say... That? Why? Like, what the d- <laughs> Are they seriously just going to keep repeating? I guess they will. Well, I guess let's say it. Uh? I'm surprised to hear you utter those words. When you pull the blindfold away, you find Mephesto standing before you. <laughs> but yes, our contract is now complete. Um... 
Okay. Now we get to the boss fight, right? Yeah, chances are we get to the boss fight now, and darkness settles around you in Mephesto. <laughs> Stay. Thou art so beautiful. Last time a god interrupted me. But in this space I've created, no one can interfere with me. As per our agreement, I shall collect my payment. Now, hand over your soul. Oh. Alright then. So yeah, Mephesto. From the Tale of Faust. He's kind of a bad guy, if you kind of figured that out. And you remind me of someone I formed a contract with some time ago. He thought himself unable to achieve true happiness. And in the end, still clung to his life. Incomplete as it may be. And only the angels not gotten in the way then. Well, this time shall be different. Resist me as much as you please. It will only entertain me more. Yeah, here's the thing about uh, sinking in this guy. He is the worst boss design in the franchise. He just legit has no way for like to remove debuffs. I don't know what they were thinking on that one, if I'll be honest with you. But yeah, we can completely destroy this boss with Cleopatra. He can't do jack crap because, well, she has light attacks. And that does a ton of damage to him. Also, yeah, make sure you don't have anyone that really, like, does a ton of, like, weakness to darkness. Because if you are weak to dark and you get hit, oh boy, you're going to get hit pretty darn hard. Which, I'm just hoping that Cleo can survive this first turn. She is smirking, which is probably going to happen a lot. But yeah, fear of darkness. It missed. Imagine that. So, here's the problem with this enemy. He just simply doesn't have a way to get rid of debilitate. These three debilitates are going to be on him for the entire battle. Now all we gotta do is Luster Candy, and it's GG. You gotta understand how broken that is. The fight's basically over. Not giving this guy Silent Prayer is honestly a really big shame. I wish they did, because he sort of summers from Sanat Kurama Syndrome, where if you're doing all the DLC missions, if you fuse Cleopatra, you basically beat this guy without even trying, which is kind of sad in a way. Like, you know, he's a cool designed boss battle. The setting you battle in him, like, him in is awesome. And Theo Darkness, missed, yeah. I wouldn't recommend going for Chiro with that. And Yeah, seriously. It, sure, he does have Dark Pierce, unlike Cleopatra, who didn't have really much going on for her. But at the end of the day, he's just so... I don't know, man. A really, really big missed opportunity. And this Cleopatra doesn't even have the highest, like, damage with her holy attack. So we could be potentially doing even more damage if I wanted to. But then we just make this fight a complete choke. And honestly, I don't want that. Let's try Trisagion. I'm not sure what his elemental affinity is. Wow, he doesn't even resist fire. That's bad. That means the fight's already over. Holy crud. That was, uh, unimpressive. You lower your weapon and drop your battle stance. Just as you do, a demon's sneering laughter fills the room. <laughs> <laughs> I am pleased. This is the expected course of things. Did you really think things would just end with a pleasant thoughts? Don't make me laugh. You already did laugh, Mephesto. Your fleeting happiness shall soon be replaced with a weighty emptiness. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Hurry up and snap out of it, kid. Mephesto becomes noticeably irritated by the intrusion. Who dares enter my world without permission? Hmm. Your limited imagination isn't much different than reality. Is there really any cause for me to introduce myself? Someone as lowly as you dare speak to me like that. Hey. All right, kid. Playtime's over. Kick this guy's butt so we can get on our way. Totally what Doctor would say there. You're as insufferable as those angels. No matter. I shall emerge victorious. <laughs> I know what the future holds for me. You, however, will enter eternal rest at my feet. Yeah, I don't know about that, Mephesto. You kind of almost got your butt kicked, and now the real battle begins, apparently, but now Dog just awaken and... and I don't know what to say about this guy. I long for a toy that can amuse me eternally. You shall remain here forever, or until I grow bored of you. Well, uh, I'm already bored of this battle, Mephesto, so if we could 
sort of wrap things up, man, that would be fantastic. But yeah, same strat as before. Even with demons that are weak to Moodle attacks, he can't do crap. He's just gonna die. Like, he just legitimately can't win in this battle. Like, there's no way for him to even remove our buffs. And that's an even bigger issue. Like, once you learn this fact about Mephesto, this is the easiest DLC you're ever gonna get. And Fear of Darkness! Oh crap, that actually did a ton to Chiro. Don't do him again? Okay, it's fine. He actually has Enduring Soul too, so even if he did, it wouldn't be a big deal. Let's go for another Debilitate on Chiro's turn. And now begins just the non-stop damage. Like, Mephesto, man. Nanashi didn't even hit you last time. Actually, did he? I don't even remember. The battle was over that fast, but you gotta admit, Atlas thought outside the box for this specific DLC. Like, seriously. The battle in <laughs> Hawaii, of all things. Okay, I know it's not really Hawaii, but I think that's pretty darn amusing. But yeah, Fear of Darkness, not gonna hit. Like, it doesn't even have, it has a decently high hit rate, right? But still not going to do anything. Just because he doesn't have a way to even, I think he can actually buff himself. But even then, it's just like, Mephesto, what are you doing? I hate that I'm just, re like, making fun of him because his design is great. I love that so much, but. The demon himself just... Oh, crap. He dodged. Okay, I'm gonna be on the safe side. Let's go ahead and use Medea Rahan. Heal everybody up, but... I love the demon design. Just the fight could have benefited from one extra skill, and I don't know why they didn't give it to him. But yeah, there's also no repercussion for just completely nullifying physical attacks. That also kind of puts a dent in his plans. And please don't miss! Oh my gosh. All right, are we... We have all of our buffs and our debuffs up. Holy crud, that says a lot about how difficult Apocalypse can be. Are you kidding me? He's dodging non-stop. Granted, we're dodging non-stop too. But this is getting a little out of hand, Mephesto, and we're still, okay. I was about to say, if I didn't smirk on Chiro, that would've stunk. Anyway, oh crap, he blocks bullets. I forgot, oh man, this is really, really bad. All right, we can remove his smirking because of Magoin, but still, that stinks, all right. So after about 12 minutes of non-stop trash talk, he's finally starting to become difficult and still has not hit Cleopatra's weakness. That is really embarrassing. Oh my god. Maybe I mean made my demons too strong. If you're at all curious, like demons in this game drop incense very, very easily. There's no reason not to like level up your agility. And speaking of which, I probably should do that. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Whatever. Not if she's gotta hit this one. Perfect. There we go. <sighs> Jeez, I can't believe that. She still hasn't been hit. I purposely gave her a weakness to Mudo. There we go, for the first time. But it still didn't matter because he missed every other target. I purposely made this Cleopatra to try and make this battle interesting. But still, the fact I gave her weakness doesn't make this fight any harder. If this next attack hits, it's basically GG for Mephesto. Oh, wow, he lived. Holy crud. Well... Color me surprised. I did not see that coming. I guess it's just going to continue to be our turn, though. Chiro doesn't really have too much to do here. Basically, if he gets off all the buffs and debuffs and still has MP left, he did his job. I'm just kind of waiting for the battle to end at this point, because any attack ought to do it. And this one probably will be the last attack. Wow, he actually lived that. Color me surprised. Chiro, no! Okay, does it. Yeah, like I said before... Oh, crap, there it is. So this is the way that he can resist light and actually do substantial damage. I was worried that we were going to end the battle too quickly to actually see this. And just to ensure that we do, I'm going to heal and just like let him show off his attack. Cause this is basically his way of concentrating. And if he gets this off and if it even connects, I'd legitimately be surprised. But hey, I guess we'll find out. So come on Mephesto, hit me with you what you got. Growing hate, it's almighty damage. And it's still not the best accuracy. But he can use it like every turn, once he gets a little low on HP. I think that's cool, at least they gave him some way to resist light, even if it's at the final moments of the battle. Probably should have done that from turn one, buddy, but oh well. <laughs> Look at me. I'm pitiful. I've been made a fool. But alas, the contract is not yet up. I shall stay by you until you finally achieve complete satisfaction. Alright, Mephesto. Whatever the dump that means, because I certainly am not fusing you. Because I don't need to. And oh yeah, we were in the Expanse the whole time. How about that? <laughs> what a pathetic farce. Well, I suppose it was a nice escape. If nothing else. 
I hope you didn't get attached to that absurd fantasy. Let's get a move on. Chase your so-called satisfying moments all you want. Once this is all over. Okay. Solid game plan, dog. Just so yeah. Hawaii is still very a post-apocalyptic environment. Everything is destroyed other than Mikado and Tokyo. And now we confuse Mephisto, who is just okay. He's not really that great. He gets a really, like, high strength stat, but sadly doesn't get the skills necessarily to act on it. If you're all curious, I think, yeah, we can see the demons used to make him. All I need is Lucifuge and... I can make him, but I'll be honest with you, he's no Alice. He's just okay, and you know what? Actually, we'll make Lucifuge just so we can see his lore entry. And now that I slammed together a couple demons to make Lucifuge, we're gonna make him and then make Mephisto. So, here's the very strange thing about creating Mephisto: you need a lot of demons, like demon demons, like very evil people, like Lucifuge. Well, I guess evil is kind of relative. Technically, all the angels are evil too, but. LCL, Black Maria. I don't see why Black Maria is here. Because Black Maria isn't really based on something like totally sinister like LCL and Dantelion, but whatever. Hi, Lucifuge. The pleasure's all mine. Didn't every other tyrant before you say that? Oh, maybe, maybe not. Anyways, now we can create Mephisto, the uh, demon from the Tale of Faust. And. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty sure his name is supposed to be Mephetolates, or Mephilo Anyways, I don't care how you say his name. Mephesto, you stink and stank, dude. Mamo Dune from a level 99 demon. What the crud are you on, dude? I understand Die For Me, the severe Moodle attack that hits everybody. But all he gets is Fear of Darkness. A single target severe Moodle attack, which I'll be honest, hey, at least you can get that. The only, like, light equivalent is Judgment of Light. And yeah, I could make him good, but honestly, I don't really want to use him that bad. Like, he just doesn't seem super practical to me. But yeah, I combine Lucifuge, Shax, and Loki to create Mephesto. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. Yeah, they all do say that. What the crud? Anyways, now that we have Mephesto, I don't know, man. I just don't see, like, a... he's not even really that helpful in grinding because he can't get die for me, right? So Alice is still technically way better. But as I promised, let's check out his stats. So he does nullify... All physical, and he's weak to light, which kind of stinks for the next DLC we're going to be taking on, but oh well, here's his lore entry. An agent of hell, name means not light loving, best known for being the demon summoned by George Faust, a leader in hell, feared second only to Satan himself. Though he's said to regret all from his grace, and as a result, he detests human grants admission to heaven for their kind deeds. Mephisto boasts a wide range of expertise, including Astronomy? Hold up. Ast <laughs> okay, whatever. Astrology, meteorology, yada yada. Okay, so Mephesto has prowess <laughs> in astrology and also Mudo attacks. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Honestly, I probably should not have bullied Mephesto as badly as I did. Maybe he's a good demon and I just don't see his full potential. Actually, come to think of it, maybe I can... I don't worry about that later, but we're not done yet, as I promised. And this is something I'm trying to, like, focus on and doing, like, later on and making sure you see every single bit of content. Even if it's a tiny little segment, I'm going to show you what happens when you select Asahi and Toki to go on your beach date or whatever. So, be right back once I reload my save. So this time, instead of picking the truthful answer and saying Nozome, let's pick Asahi and... <laughs> Thanks, Nanashi. Hey, let's go play in the water. I've never been to a beach like this before. Right. I mean, that makes two of us, but yeah, I guess... That's it? What? Yeah, that's, that's literally all the extra dialogue. Then it takes you to the sea so cucumber good. segment. And what is this feeling? That makes me so happy. Uh, would you like to walk along the shore with me, Master? I've never seen the ocean like this. On our way, master. You know mine, right? Master. I mind excessively. Okay, anyways. See you guys in the next DLC mission. We're, we're going to Mikado. And Mephesto might join us. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, man. That was weird.